Okay, this is our baby girl's uh, nursery tour. I know there's a lot of you guys that wanted to see um, the nursery, so I would call this 99% finished. There is a couple of things that's missing. It's just decor things, but what we're looking for was sold out, so I figured I might as well do the tour because it's not really going to change a whole lot. Like, we're going to put her name up and um, just do one other piece of decor, so it's not a whole lot that's missing from it. But anyways, here is the door to her nursery. You can see, like, it's got kind of like a pink hue. Um, that's because of a big pink curtain in there, but yeah, this is the door to her nursery. And I hope you guys like this. Here we go. Alright, so I will do like a quick pan around. And you can see the whole thing. So here's her crib and dresser. That's what's causing the big pink hue. And I'll come over from the other side. I'm going to shut the door because I have the air conditioner running. <clears throat> so there's her mural. And then this is from the other side of the room. And then of course we have her closet and stuff. So I'll explain things in detail. Um, to start off, we did an owl themed nursery. I love owls. I always, I've always wanted owls. So, um, we went based off of this mural, which we got at a place in the city called, um, Room to Remember. And it was $50, I think. I've seen them on Etsy before and I've seen them priced for like $100. So, I'm glad we found one for a little bit cheaper. And then, this is her bedding. This is from the company Cocalo, I think it's called, and her bedding is called In the Woods. So this is her big blanket and her mobile. These are the little wall thingies. So it's kind of like vintage colors is what we wanted to do. And I wanted to make her room really, really peaceful and calming. So there is a lot going on, but I still get like this really peaceful feeling when I'm in here. So I'll back up and show you this lovely thing. Um, we got a Toys R Us. I just, I absolutely love it. And for a little while, we weren't sure if it would fit in the room or not, but thankfully it does. It's the same shade of pink as everything else in the room. When the windows open, it actually turns. It's like on fishing line so like it moves and stuff it's really cute and this is her dresser and I left her coming home outfit out here so you guys can see here it is it's so sweet and she has a little yellow headband to go with it so some of you guys know that we're cloth diapering and this is one of the cloth diapers. I totally forgot I had this. This is from a company called Comfy Rumps, based out of Canada. I have absolutely no room to put this diaper anywhere, so it's got to sit there until we figure something else out. Um, but here, I got this diaper depot thing for my baby shower, and it's full of all her um, lotions and diaper creams and all that fun stuff. Um, in her dresser, this top drawer, she has all her newborn outfits and zero to three. She doesn't have a whole lot of newborn stuff actually, but I don't think we're, that's going to be a problem because I think she's going to be a pretty big baby. Um, down here is all three to six months clothes and pants. I'm going to shut this a little bit so you guys can see better. So yeah, we have short sleeve over here, long sleeve over here, and the pants and skirts in the middle. There's one thing she will not hurt for is clothes. Down in this drawer um, is all of her fleece blankets and her thicker blankets, like, things like this. She has a lot, so this drawer sometimes has difficulty closing. Uh, over here is all of her cloth diapers. She's got a ton. Um, we have 24 cloth diapers and then some pre-folds over here. 
These all came from Alba Baby. This is my absolute favorite diaper. That is cute. Matthew's is this little zebra one. Hopefully I can put this back here with one hand. Just stuff it down in there. Uh, this next drawer is all of her sleepers from zero to three and three to six. And this is like two piece pajamas here. And then down at the bottom the drawer is just extra crib sheets and things like that. She's got a lot of crib sheets too. Um, here's her little bucket of toys. And then she's got her garbage can because um, we are doing disposable wipes. I'm not really into cloth wipes, but hey, to those who are, that's okay. <laughs> um, over here we have her bouncy chair and these things that need to be installed in the car, like her mirror and a sunshade. I don't know what we're going to do with this just yet. Um, it was in the living room and we brought it in here for storage. It kind of fits because it's outdoorsy. I think we're going to change the stuff that's in the vase. <clears throat> um, I'm out of breath because she's up in my ribs, so I apologize. Whew, up here is her window valance. It also goes with um, all of her bedding. This is a sign I got in my baby shower. It says, a daughter's a little girl who grows up to be your friend. And then this I got from my friend Melissa who lives in New York. Um, this is not how we're, we're planning on hanging it up on the wall. But this will suffice until we get the actual thing that's sold out that we're waiting on. So I don't know if you guys remember, but over here is a door that leads outside to our back deck. So I know it's kind of awkward to have a door in your nursery. Hopefully we'll have her place out in the country that um, it won't be a concern when she gets older that, you know, we'd have to be worried about her um, running away in the night or unlocking the door or whatever. So it's okay for now, but um, we needed something to block out the sun. And this seems way brighter in the camera than it actually is. It's actually quite dark in here. So, yeah. Unfortunately, you can't get magnetic blackout blinds. <laughs> so this was our next option. We had bigger plans for this. It's kind of hard to explain. Um, but there was going to be like a box thing here. And then curtains coming down either way so it would go one would go this way and one would go this way but it turns out it's really expensive to build so yeah that that turned out to be no go here's her car seat um she's got a little car seat toy on there already this blanket she'll be wrapped up in well it will go over the car seat when we bring her home if need be because you know she's due in July so it might be way too hot because it's currently I don't know, like 37 out there with the Humidex. It's really hot. Um, here's her laundry hamper. It's full of <laughs> blinds and curtain rods and all that fun stuff that needs to be put away into storage. This clothes drying rack is unfortunately going to have to stay there because I can't find anywhere else to put it. But we're using it for her cloth diapers, so it's going to get lots of use anyway because... Um, it's recommended you don't put your cloth diapers in the dryer, so we'll see how that works out for us. Um, now for here, I wanted a, a white mirror and a, like a, a white and round mirror. I saw this at a store called Buclair Home that's based out of Montreal. Excuse me. And uh, I absolutely love it. Love it, love it. And this bookshelf we had. So this is her Owl Sensi. I'm obsessed with owls. This black thing isn't staying. It's got to find a new home, but I will show you it lit up. So that's what that looks like lit up. And um, the scent in it right now is newborn nursery. This is all of her shoes, and I'm going to need a better system because this girl has way more, many, way more shoes than I do. So, yeah, I don't know how I'm going to display them yet. Um, this is all of her cute little hats like this and all of her headbands which she's got a ton of and clips and yeah she, there's no shortage of any of that stuff. Um, this little doll 
I had in my nursery when I was a little girl. I think my mom had that picked out. I, I'm adopted, so um, my mom had that picked out before they knew um, if they were getting a boy or a girl. So it's kind of special. These bookends I got for Christmas from my mother-in-law. So there's both of them there. This is all her books. Over here is all my pregnancy and baby books and things like that. Uh, here we just have like some miscellaneous stuff that needs homes. This stuff will probably be going in the diaper bag. These are baby monitors that need to be set up. Um, down here is just an air freshener that needs a new home and we have like a, my god, a pot, like a planter pot. <laughs> I have the worst pregnancy brain ever. Um, here is just extra receiving blankets because I don't have any other space for them. Turns out we got a lot for the baby shower which is good. Um, this one is all breastfeeding supplies and breast pads and whatnot. Um, this is just stuff that needs a new home. This was um, a photo album over here and the thing next to it is my trying to conceive journal um, that I had back when we very first started trying to have a baby and I wrote all that stuff down like my feelings and whatnot. This was a gag gift that my mom gave my husband um, from the baby shower. It's freaking hilarious the stuff that's in it. And here is some more cloth diaper stuff that I don't have any other room for. Um, I guess I'll do her closet last. So over here we have the rocking chair. And again that blanket came with her bedding set. Um, my mom made that pillow. We got the rocker off Kijiji for $80 I believe. Some of you might remember the ugly TV table I had in here. Thankfully that's gone now and we have this decent one. <laughs> so on the top you have her lamp which also goes with the bedding. Um, a bottle warmer because I'm hoping that um, we'll be able to pump and freeze and then we can heat up the bottles like Matthew can eventually. And of course I just had some water here. <laughs> and down here is all my pump stuff that need, all needs to be sterilized. Just don't pay attention to any of this stuff. Um, it needs a home and some of it's being shipped out um, to some friends. This is her boppy pillow and diaper bag ready to go for when it's time to go to the hospital. And all of these little stuffed animals we got from the baby shower. And they won't be staying in here when she's able to sleep in here. But yeah, I'll show you in the caddy this little thing. Um, that's her ultrasound picture. Some change um, that we have laying around because we need to put it in her piggy bank. But we don't have a piggy bank yet. Um, this is her monitor. We are going to upgrade to the video monitors when she's sleeping in here through the night. Um, and here is miscellaneous stuff. It's like a mishmash of stuff. I have like cotton swabs and hairbrushes and combs and coupons and soothers and yeah, it just, it's not really a designated drawer for anything. Down here we have all of her hats, socks, and tights. She's got quite a lot of those. Um, this one is all of her bibs. She's got a ton of bibs. This one, these wipes aren't supposed to be in here, but um, this is kind of also a mishmash. We have a burp rag and some sample stuff and a package of wipes and a diaper cover. Um, here is some extra receiving blankets. This is just extra diapers. And this is stuff that needs a home. We have like battery hooks, the mummy hook, um, things we got from the baby shower, so. All right, so onto her closet. I'll just move this out of the way. Her closet's kind of disorganized, and we don't plan to really try to get it organized until after she's here. Um, her clothes are organized, but the other stuff is not. Alright, so um, this is stuff 
from storage that unfortunately we don't have any other space for. This, I am so out of breath. <laughs> this right here is nursery water and what the nursery water is for, um, so my mom tells me, it's like for her humidifier and her bottle warmer so it won't rust on her or something like that. I, I don't know. I just go by what my mom tells me. Um, here is her high chair and unfortunately that's more storage stuff that couldn't go anywhere else. But here is all of her like sweaters, jackets, and outfits. They range in various sizes from um, newborn all the way up to 18, 24 months. <laughs> So uh, they do need to be organized by size though, I should say, and this doesn't belong in here. <laughs> that needs to be put somewhere else. That's her diaper stacker. And this is her stroller that obviously will be moved. And my mom kind of went diaper crazy, like she knows we're cloth diapering. And we also do plan to use disposables, but we're only using disposables when we go out and at night time. But if we did want a full-time disposable diaper, then we'd have enough diapers till Christmas. <laughs> so we have tons of diapers, tons of wipes. She's got enough wipes to last her seven months. Um, I don't know what this is back here. I think this is more clothes. And um, this is like a sleep sack thing. And baby books and yeah. She's got a lot of stuff. So that's that. And I'll show you the stuff on the shelf. So up here is her baby book that we plan on taking to the hospital with us to get her footprints and handprints done in. This is a little owl I got in my shower. This is a picture frame. It goes by month by month. This is the freakiest looking owl I've ever seen. <laughs> this is her first um, stuffed animal toy that my mom gave her. And then this really cool duck that I got at um, Bath and Body Works for $4. It lights up. That's so cool. So yeah, like things like her hooded towels and face cloths and stuff, that's all in the linen closet. I won't bother showing you that. But um, yeah, this is it. And over there is her whale tub. Um, I'm sure we'll find a better home for that, but it's just sitting there for now. So that's it. I hope you guys like it. It's been amazing to do this room. I can't believe it's finally done. Well, 99% done, like I said. So yeah, this is it.